Thank you very much for joining us today. Welcome to Cause for Pause for Bowie Claw. I'm your host, Connie Carter, and I will be uh, today introducing you to a very special guest, two very special guests. Um, my host, my co-host today is Karen Garretson, the Vice President of Bowie Claw. And we would like to both thank you very much for joining us. Right, Karen? That's, correct. That's correct. Thank correct. you very much. Yeah, you're very welcome. Anytime. Okay. Anyway, I would like to start off the show, as we always do, by giving you some announcements, giving you a little bit of information about we've, what we've done since our last show, and maybe give you a little bit of an update on what is coming up, because I know everybody's very excited about what we're in, up to. Okay. So, as far as what we've done, we have been very, very busy for the last month. We have had pet portraits. Um, actually, we've had three pet portrait sessions. One of them was um, November the 14th, and that was uh, Pets with Family Portraits. And that was held at Prime Care Animal Hospital in Gambrels, Maryland. Um, that was a lot of fun. Actually, I think there is a picture of one of them coming up. I think that's the first picture, and I think that one will be coming up very, very soon. Um, it was with um, one of our members with her three doggy. Okay, there it is right there, and uh, I'm behind the camera, and the one, the young lady in the yellow shirt is Amy Groover. She's our, what I call a pet wrangler. Uh, we had three Shelties, and we were trying to get them, and you could see they were having a lot of fun. The next picture that you'll see is from the same session, and that was when we finally got them all together. It, aren't they beautiful? Don't they make a beautiful, beautiful family? We had a lot of fun that day, and we raised a lot of money for Bowie Claw. <laughs> then we went and we had, on December 5th, we had Pets with Santa at Prime Care Animal Hospital as well. And I think the next picture will be of, there's Santa, oops, missed that, Santa. And um, there's Gretchen. She, Gretchen is so sweet, isn't she? She's a little baby dox, well, she's not a baby, she's like five years old. <clears throat> but she was a rescue, as was the, fir the one before that was, uh, her name was Carson, the doggy's name was Carson. And then we moved on to December 12th, and we had pets with Santa at Old Town Pet Grooming, and there was one with their mommy and the doggy with his little outfit on with Santa. And then another picture we had coming up from that same session, they decided to have a regular portrait without Santa, and that was the two, um, I believe they're Bichons, yes, the Bichons. Um, they had their formal portrait done, isn't that beautiful? And then the next one is um, two sheepdogs. And if you can't tell, the person behind there would be our buddies from City Council, Dennis Brady. So you may want to see the glit little glint in his eye. Then we have another picture, and you may recognize this person um, who's coming up next. And that would be me. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, anyway, we had a lot of fun that day. And the next picture is Santa and the Elf. We had a wonderful time that day. And all of those sessions that we did, November, the family and the pets, we raised about $1,400. And that, I think it was $1,400, yeah. $1,400, and that went to the mission for Bowie Claw. Um, we are very thankful to everybody out there who came out and joined us for the day. We had hot cider, we had cookies, we had Christmas carols, we had singing, dancing. Um, it was a lot of fun. If you missed that one, please keep uh, checking the website for any upcoming events. We probably won't be having another pet portrait session until the spring. So keep an eye out because we do have a lot of fun. Now, as far as upcoming events, it, what we've done is what I want to talk about very briefly is our pet assistance support program we have, and that's the PAS program, Pet Assistance and Support. That's what a lot of these pet portraits were started to help, and that is the pet food for the families in need. And believe it or not, 
and maybe you wouldn't believe it, unfortunately, the amount of families in need of food has grown. Every week it grows. And I think we're now up to 50, 51. 51 pets that we're helping to feed. Uh, cats and dogs. And uh, we've done a number of events. As a matter of fact, we did one, and we're in the process of still doing one at Bowie High School with the, with the National Honor Society collecting pet food. Um, and we have drop-off locations at Long of Foster, at the uh, Marketplace, the Bowie Community Center, same shopping center right across the parking lot, Huntington Community Center, that's in the old Bowie, South Bowie Community Center. I believe that's on Pointer Ridge Drive. I'm not sure. Pittsfield, I think. Pittfield? Pittsfield, that's it. Pick, Pittsfield, Pittsfield Lane. Pittsfield, Pittsfield. Pittsfield Lane in, um, in Bowie. Then we have Old Town Pet Groomers, and that is uh, Hilltop Plaza in the rear. And also at PetSmart at the Gateway Center, right by where Lowe's is and Staples. Those are all drop-off points, and we're adding more, and we will keep you updated as to all the drop-off points. But please feel free to drop off any food. If you would like to send a donation, send a um, gift card for PetSmart or Pet Value or Petco, you can send it to our address, which is listed on our website. Um, if you would like to go to our website and check us out a little bit more, you can go to our website, and that's uh, BowieClaw.org. And we hope everybody visits you because we keep getting more pictures, putting them on the website so that you can see a lot more of the fun photos that we took. So if you want to volunteer, donate, or just know, learn a little bit more about, more about Bowie Claw, then just please visit our website. Uh, very important, I want to remind you also about the pet alert. If anybody has a pet, even if you don't, and you want to be alerted when there is a pet that is found, please go to the cityofbuoy.org website. Sign up for the pet alert because if you have a pet and it gets out and animal control picks it up, they will alert you uh, that an animal has been picked up and you can have a better chance of finding your pet very quickly, getting reunited with your pet. And that's what, that's what our mission is, is to keep the pets in Bowie, in Bowie, get them reunited with the pet, with their families, so that there's no um, heartbreak. As far as the meetings, and a reminder, we have our general meetings. If you'd like to come and visit, we have a good time. We have general meetings the second Tuesday of every month. We have our committee meetings the third Thursday of the month. And the committee meetings are for like publicity, um, for the pet assistance program, for the uh, events, uh, and also for other little committees that there, we all, we lump them all together because we don't have, we have a lot of people who are uh, on this different committee. So we like to just sort of like get around and, and sit around and just sort of decide on what we're going to be doing and get a little bit of an idea of what's coming up and you know, sort of brainstorm as far as new ideas. Where are they located? And the general meeting is the second Tuesday of the month and that's held at the Bowie Community Center in Bowie. And the committee meeting is held at the giant grocery store, Free State Mall, upper level. And they're both at 7 p.m. So if you want to know more about them, please visit our website. Did I cover it all? You got it all. Okay, cool. Okay, now, before I introduce our special guest today, I'd like to read a, a little thingamabobber I found. I thought it was really, really nice. And it really brings to mind <clears throat> why we're all here. It begins, I'm waiting here in foster care for you to come and see the one and the others have passed by. Please stop and look at me. I'm not alone here in my quest to find myself a place where someone will have love for me and softly stroke my face. We're not so young in years, they say, although we're young at heart. If you'll take a chance with us, please know we'll do our part. <laughs> 